marketing results don't change based on what you think, feel, wish, or believe. Great marketers rely on the facts. Recently, I was excited to read a new research study from a large vendor in our industry. But then I started to come across some findings that seemed a little questionable. Every respondent said this, or none of the respondents thought this was important. Boy, when you see results like that, be careful. In social science, just about anything worth studying at all shows that some people behave differently than others. If you've got the right instruments and you've got the right sample size, you're going to see some variation on these things. Now, sample size is a big one. This study, probably no coincidence, did not publish the sample size. Less than 100 samples, and you probably shouldn't rely on that much at all. A thousand samples or more, and you can be pretty confident within three or four percentage points about the research. Do they publish the sample size? Now, that can be different from one question to another. So if they publish the sample size for the entire study and pretend that that applies to every finding that they wrote about, that's not credible either. What about the methodology? Do they say how they got these samples? You see, some people respond to surveys all the time. Some people hardly ever do. These people that respond to surveys all the time are psychographically very, very similar. And these people that hardly ever do are psychographically very, very similar. So if you just have these people, you extrapolate it across the whole industry and pretend like you've got everybody, that's not the case. Now, we want to operate from good research. Know what the sample size is. Is it published? If not, that's a warning. Are the results coming out in absolutes? Everybody said this. Nobody said this. Absolutes are a warning sign. Do they publish the methodology? Do they tell you how they did it? Was it online? Was it phone? Was it in person? How did they eliminate sample biasing? Was it a stratified random sampling? What was the methodology? Even if you don't know what the heck that means, at least know that they did. If they don't publish it, there's probably a reason for that. Look for good research. Don't defy your good executive judgment with junk research. Profitability relies on you having the facts, and that's a fact. Subscribe to this video program, our newsletter, or read our blog on dealeryprocess.com. Arrange to have us come out and speak live to your Dealer 20 group or your dealer group. Or we'll give you a live online product demonstration from the most advanced and integrated website provider in the industry, Dealer E-Process. <laughs>